Hey up. I hope you're doing well. So today I'm going to be playing Teleforum. This looks really creepy. It quite excites me. I love a creepy game. So this is kind of in style like the like found footage style game. Uh, but we are, we go to visit this widow in her apartment. We're interviewing her in regards to her husband's death. Now, apparently that's not the only reason we're there. Uh, I don't know the other reasons, but we are going to find out. We're going to delve in and find out what the reasons are and what is going on because this looks creepy as tits. Juliana. Oh, she's pretty. Okay, this is the right building. Hey, you got the camera on. Thought I had it on. On. Now. I thought I had it on. Weird. Wouldn't it? Cameraman! Has no name. He doesn't need a name. Men don't need names. <laughs> right. Best to have as much material as possible. We want the sixth floor. You get the button. I certainly can. What is it? You look like you've seen, you look like you have something to say. Uh, don't you think it's wrong to bother a widow? I was just thinking about what happened. You get authorization. You think it's wrong to bother a widow? If we don't do this, someone else will. You know Augusto, back at the station, is itching to make a special show about this. Trust me, new guy. I don't. I didn't get here waiting for them to give me the jobs. It was bizarre. You don't see it, did you? You didn't see it, did you? They just told me how it happened. What he what he used to, you know. You're lucky. I wish I hadn't seen it. Heard it, right? Gave Kelso a VHS tape. ET operator. Right. Kelso was supposed to broadcast the tape, but he couldn't. Technically. And bam, it happened. What happened? Oh, we're here. Come on. No, what did happen? Oh, I do love a bit of gossip. Uh, okay, we're going to apartment 608. Easy to remember. Go to the lights. Head towards the trash bags. Light, I like light. I don't think it's this way. I think we'll get a nice tape by the window. Oh. Yeah, why not? Hmm, alright. You have a good eye! Someone's been coming here for a smoke. See the ashtray? Don't show me that. I haven't touched nicotine in three years. Come on, let's head down the corridor. Ooh, uh, I think it's that apartment just ahead. Here we are. Why do I feel unsettled? I feel it in me tummy. Uh, well, let's get ready, shall we? You can film her getting the door and all that. So should I knock on the door, ring the bell? That'll look better on video. A knock? I ain't got a fucking clue. I wonder if she's up to talking to strangers right now. I hope the camera doesn't act up during... What do you mean? Our functions. Sometimes it blacks out for no reason. I think they gave me this one because I'm new. Let's do the story, then Faria Ferreira won't be able to deny you some new equipment. Open the door! Let me try again. Cheap and home. Say, did you work with Walter for long? Even home. Vera called her right after it happened. I doubt she's left the house since yesterday. All right, third time's a charm. Oh! Oh! Oh, Jesus! I don't. I do not like cracks. Oh, I don't like that at all. Adriana, what do you want? Hi, Mrs. Martins. From Channel 8, we're going to give you your condol. Gavar. <laughs> Sorry. 
Expo. Wait, it just throws me off. Uh, if I'm turning late, we came to give you our condolences. You really need a viewer camera for that. Yes. Uh, we're making a special program about Walter. A homage. A kind of retrospective, you see. He worked at the station for so long. So we wanted to talk to you about him. About what happened. Right. Fine, come in. It might be good to talk about it. Big thinker, huh? Homage. I can't believe she bought that. <laughs> Maybe she needs this now. Come on, before she changes her mind. I don't like cracks. Oh god, I don't like that even... I like that even less! Thank you again for welcoming us, Miss Martins. Mm. Over here, we'll film our conversation, okay? Will he now? I'll have to think about that. What? Would you like to drink anything? Tea? Coffee? I mean, do I? I oh, wouldn't be rude. Oh, whenever I refuse a cup of coffee, I've got to make some. That gives me the willies. She pulled a fast one on you, huh? Get that. Let's snoop around while we have the chance. Make sure to get anything that catches your eye on camera. We're surrounded by material here. Look at these certificates. Journalism degrees from UFRGS. Specialisation in communication. Walter was well educated. I think Mrs. Martins is just the same. What a waste. It would be a shame if we only had shots of the same wall. So look around the whole room here, okay? Yeah, all right, fucking hell. Uh, use A, D, or arrow key. Oh, there's a cock! Hey, that TV shot looks good. Nothing funny about this TV. I think there was a lighting strike nearby the other day. It might have messed it up. Actually, I'm pretty sure it happened the same day that Walter, you know, Whoa, VCR player, fancy. <laughs> How much is one of those going for? Some um, two million cru cruzeros? More than that, I think. Walter took a loan to pay for this. He told me this one time he gave me a ride. Oh, look at that! Look at the graphics! They look nice! Right here. Look at this photo. Some scenery? Not a very appealing scenery. Plus, it's out of focus. This photo has a story behind it, I can feel it. I might ask her about it during the interview. Hey, I can hear her putting water in the filter. She'll be back soon. Check out all you can now. Oh my god, don't put pressure on me! There's a painting here, a lake. I think Mrs. Martin's painted this. Look, a daily trophy. Oh, right. Walter got one for an article he wrote back in the 70s. The station's owner thought this would make us stand out more. Happen. Local stations have zero chances against the big ones. I think they even had a lobby going on to hush this up. Look at this headline. Tragic passing of Walter Martin. It's made the news already. Right, she actually kept the paper. They moved fast to cover this one. It happened live, of course it was shocking. I remember Walter bought this raincoat to cover a story. Some lake where it rains a lot or something. Right, the image got stuck in my head because he just vanished inside the thing. I remember he got cheated out some 500 cruiser, cruiser, cruiseros, whatever size coat. He looked ridiculous in it, but he paid so much for the damn coat, he just had to wear it. Poor guy. Coffee's almost done. Shit. I really don't like that. You have one. Made it now, so yeah. Be my guest. So. Did you think it over? I did. Let's get this done with. Great, we'll begin shortly. Let's shoot the interview on that chair, Silver. Oh god, that is creepy as hell! Ready? No, but it, it doesn't matter. 
Okay, let's go in three, two, one. We're here with Mrs. Adriana Martins, wife of Walter Martin, my dear colleague who left us so abruptly. She agreed to give us an interview during these most trying times. The house itself really tells a story about how you two lived. The blurred photo on the shelf. Television is strange. Oh god. Expensive. <laughs> and none of this is going to make a good story. I looked at the wrong things. The award. Walter was a very high caliber professional working at a small station. Would you like to comment on that? He felt that he had less problems with higher ups when working at a smaller stage. He could suggest topics, be more hands on. He also believed in local, keeping local stations alive. We lived well. He wasn't an ambitious man, not in that sense. He was a good man. Expensive VCR. I know she have a brand new VCR. I'm curious. I know Walter was quite the cinephile. What did you enjoy the most? Um. Can we ask about something else? Uh, sure. You're the boss. Oh god. Certificates and degrees of kind of... The painting. The painting's in the living room. They're yours, yes? Yes. I've been practicing for years. I like painting my dreams. I was preparing Walter's portrait. Can't even look at it now. Get some degree. You are quite well educated, aren't you? I'd say so. I studied quite a bit history, theatre, theatre. I met Walter and at an eloquence workshop. I used to help him out. Can you believe he had a speech impediment? Bad diction. Nobody notices it today. His articulated speech. That was my gift. Look, I'm sorry. I don't think I can keep going. Of course, Mrs. Martins. We have enough material already. He was so different, so nervous. I never expected him to... No one expected that, Mrs. Martins. No one expected that, Mrs. Martins. I still can't even imagine Walter handling a gun. Gun? What gun? Walter never had a gun. The... The gun, the one he used during the show's broadcast. He did not ever use a gun. I know it was horrible, but I saw it when he pulled the trigger. That's what Ferreira, Ferreira told you back at the station, right? No, I was told he used a knife. Uh... What? How can that be? My god. I knew it. Ever since he got that damn tape. The tape you tried to broadcast. I also examined the tape back at this studio. I think the film was burned, something like that. That wasn't the tape. <clears throat> that wasn't the tape, not the original one. That was a copy. Seriously? You still have the original one? Yes, here. I don't know what he saw in this thing, and I don't know where he got it from. Walter made me swear to never use it. He only watched it when I wasn't home, or in the small hours of the morning. You want to watch it? You want to watch it, don't you? For your show. I don't think that's a good idea, but I'm too tired to try and change your mind. I, I'm going outside to have a smoke. I don't even want to hear this thing. Ooh! This is it. We have quite the story here. You look like you've seen a ghost. You'll stay, right? Yeah, I just got to see what the hell's going on here. I knew I made the right decision bringing you with me. Okay, this is how we'll do it. You film me as I watch the thing. We'll have more takes that way. We can insert the tape's content in the video during the editing. Right, let's make some room here. Right, let's begin. Let's get my first impressions on film. We can fix it all on the editing later. There, I'll press play. Starting. What is this place? I don't recognise this building. 
these symbols, I can almost they mean anything to you. It's my head hurt. Me, it's the eyes. Oh, it changed. Good. But you did go inside the building. What is this place? Like a prison, it's like a shopping mall, museum, school. Inside the cells are those are those people. He's just walking by everything. What sort of building is this? It's way too long. Look, there's someone up ahead. That guy. He looks. He looks. Oh no! I don't like that at all. I don't like it. Did you get that? I'll turn up the volume. No, please don't! I can't understand what he's saying. I would take that as a no. Commercial break. Okay, we're in the right building. Camera on. Okay, hurry up. Get the boy in the sixth floor, apartment six eight. Ooh. Uh, you look like you've seen a ghost. Deja vu. Right. Get to six or eight already. Go to the window again to What are you doing? How about you stop wasting our time? Can you do that, hmm? What's wrong with you? What? Uh I I think Walter's death got to me. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but let's not tell her to calm down. It's okay. Yeah. Let's head to 608 then.
There's the apartment. Finally. I'll do the talking. We need to press it once. Jesus. Good evening. We're from Channel 8. We've come to talk to you about what happened. We don't mind if we record this, right? I... We want to talk about Walter, right? Recent events. Everything's stuck in your throat, isn't it? Wait, why are we now being... This... I'm in. Might be good to speak to someone. Hey, aren't you coming on a little too strong? Yeah. No, we need to investigate this. She's got her whole life to mourn. Wow. What the fuck? Just call your fucking britches, shall we? Come on, get in. Wow. I don't like this new woman. We're about to begin. Do you have anything? Tea? Coffee? No, thanks. Well, I'll make some anyway. Being a f oh, there's a dog! Wait a minute, I didn't know there was a dog! No, let's just... God damn it. I have to wait for her. I'll... I'll have a look around here. Yeah, whatever. Maybe I should have turned the fucking TV off. <gasps> look at the dog! Hey, gunpowder. Seems a little nervous, uneasy. Or is he afraid? Got these certificates. Walter wasn't a complete dumbass, unlike some people back at the studio. Right. But I don't recognise any of these institutions. The mini box. Mm. Huh? Gone missing. What is that? I can't even tell what that is. Something about this TV set gives me the creeps. Hey, the weird thing hanging above the front door, look. Go there and take it off. I don't want to. What? You heard me. You can reach up there if you jump, right? To take it down. It's getting on my nerves. Not your fucking house! I won't do that. You always talk back like that. It's just a little favour. Come on, we'll put it back up later. I'm not messing with the poor woman's home. Fine. What the fuck is going on? I think Mrs. Martin's painted this one. I don't think she fucking cares. There. Let's get to the point. Walter took a tape to the studio, but it wasn't the original one, was it? The original one is here with you. How do you know that? We examined the one he had with him. I want to see the original. Well, yes, I have it here. You know where he found this tape? This is why you came here. Had I known, I wouldn't have opened the door. Here, take it. I don't want to see this thing. I'll go have a smoke outside. Tell me when you're done. Hey, she's a widow, what's gotten into you? I don't have time for this. But, fine, you're right. This whole thing is making me antsy. You know what, why don't you go check up on her? Even better, interview her. You always wanted to do that, right? Here's your chance. See if she's up to answering some questions about the origin of this tape. I don't like her. Like, so much, like the, watching that tape has turned into a fucking bitch. Ah, there she is. Deep breaths. 
this smell of the cigarette? No, focus. If I do, do if I do a good job, I might get new opportunities. I can help Miss Martins feel a little better. I'll probably change nothing, but I still want to do it. Uh, I can help Miss Martins feel a little better. It's what I want to believe, at least. Mrs. Martins? What is it? You done? Not yet. Julian is watching the tape. Meanwhile, I wanted to ask you some questions for your programme. Shouldn't the girl be asking the questions? Well, yes, but she's suddenly turned into a fucking raving asshole. Uh, I still got worried about you, ma'am. I've seen so many people like that girl in this line of work. Because of Walter. You blew up at nothing. Uh, fine, let's do this interview of yours. You'd better think very carefully about these questions of yours. My head's about to burst. How was Walter on the day? Normal, just like any other day. He spent so much time watching that thing. His behaviour was the same. He was uneasy, but... I never thought it would come down to this. I'm not sure you've seen it, but he left a note. I only noticed minutes after it had already happened. The only strange thing that day was that he made a copy of the tape. Do you know where the tape comes from? No. We need to investigate this. I think he got it at home, but I didn't see who delivered it. Walter collected movies, hard to find films, recordings. I thought it was just another note. Just thinking about that girl alone in my living room watching that thing makes my skin crawl. Hey, why is she so interested in that tape? To tell you the truth, so am I. I wouldn't know. Important piece of this case. Yes. I could see the greed on your colleague's eyes when she asked for the tape. To be honest, I thought you'd ask questions about Walter. He was your co-worker, no? That was the plan. Was it? Really? Don't you think that colleague of yours is acting a little strange? I, I could swear I've seen it before. You have? To be honest, I have a feeling I've seen you before as well. Maybe I've seen it at the studio. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I haven't been working there for long. Hmm. Maybe that's why you don't seem to be like her. But yeah, anyway. Me? Yes. Why are you in this anyway? Well, this is my job. I don't get to pick my tasks. So you choose to admit yourself, right? No. I shouldn't blame you. You're not at fault. Not really. You know, I get it. I get the idea of moving up the ladder, the allure of a sensationalist piece of news. You can see it too, can't you? Nothing good came from this tape, from this whole thing. It really didn't cause any anything positive until now. Until now? That's precisely why we need to investigate. Do we really need to? Is it really the search for truth that's motivating this story you're working on? Or is it something else? And if it is something else, then it wouldn't be right. Uh, and if it and if it is something else, then it wouldn't be right. I'm not sure right is a concept we're looking for, but I do know. What I do know is that you two being here is making me apprehensive. I don't want to ignore this feeling. I, to be honest, I've been questioning how things have been progressing. I can't just do. I can't just not do my job because of how I feel. To be honest, I've been questioning how things have been progressing. Well, I don't want the story to be broadcast. I'm telling you quite plainly. Drop the camera. Are you serious? You can tell them the crazy old lady clawed at you. I don't care. Here. A little push out the window. What? Oh. Throw the camera? But I can't do that. I don't give a damn if you can't. Just drop it. Ooh, uh, deny her influence. Yeah, I kind of want to do that. You won't do it, will you? 
That's fine. Look, I've got a splitting headache. Go check if she's done, then leave, please. Put my living room back. Thank you for the interview, Mrs. Martin. All of that. to reach the apartment. The apartment. Which apartment? 608. Yes, that was it. I had someone else with me. Ju... Ju... Juliana. Oh god, I think there was two N's. That's right. Bitch. <laughs> that tape. What I saw in it. What did you see? I watched an unrecorded nightmare. I was seeing and forgetting the name of what I saw. I saw the past of a future that never happened. And if it was not recorded, can I ever wait from it? The apartment. You stayed there. Better to record everything. Everything can be used. Oh my giddy god, why are we looking at the ground? Need to go on. Is this the right way? Uh, I don't know, I need to pay attention. I don't really want to follow it. Yes! What is this door? Is this where she was? The door won't budge. There's a grate. Oh, I don't want to do. I need to see what's in there. Uh Oh no! Oh. Okay. Where... Where's she going? Wherever it is, I don't want to go there. No, no way. Uh, I don't want to be here, I have to leave. Oh, this is creepy as hell. Weird smell here. Where did I smell this before? smell. It's stronger here. All of the smell. Oh no! This is horrid! Is this the apartment? The smell's coming from inside the apartment. Oh, I know what it is. The smell. It's ozone. Look into the smell's origin. Record everything. Everything can be used. I'll be back here. I right, we go this way. Uh, I'll go this way because I didn't go that way before. Oh no, it's the dog. If I see something horrible with this dog, I am going to flip this table. I don't like that. No, I'm not, no, I can't, no, no! Is that the same door I came across earlier? Isn't it? Got a weird feeling. So I'm not... It's matter with dog? Gunpowder? What happened here? Where's the dog here? Where's your owner? Hey, gunpowder, where's your owner? 
Am I imagining things? Or is the dog avoiding the apartment? Oh no, not now. Come on. Uh, oh, did we pass out? Gunpowder! Of course, I don't gunpowder. Come back here. At least we know he's alive. What's gotten into him? He just dashed down the hall. Looks like he was laying on top of some notes. Expect the note! It's a note. I've had it. And did what I shouldn't. Now I have an unending nightmare in my brain. An endless loop. There's no chance of escape. What scares me the most? It's not It's not much worse than the life I left behind. If anyone reads this, don't leave Gunpowder alone. She... She also... Ugh, these letters. Are giving me vertigo. Wait, the dog. Where did he go? Oh, Gunpowder! I'm... I'm going inside. I'm going, I need to. Am I going inside, really? Yes, you are! Really? I will. Uh, I just noticed it now, and it's awful. Oh, say it out loud! The camera carries me, not the other way around. I can't even tell when this started. Perhaps a very long time ago. Maybe when I submitted my application. Gunpowder? I'm going in. This is fucked up. TV's broke. Oh, the chair's gone. Dogs there. Where's the dog there? Walter Martin, this is him. Caros telespectadores, boa noite. Hoje nós teremos uma transmissão especial do nosso programa, possivelmente a minha última. E com ela trago um comunicado a fazer para todos vocês. Descobri algo nas últimas semanas que tem, que tem me assombrado desde então. Palavras não serão o bastante para descrever o que descobri. Portanto, eu vou precisar mostrar. E talvez isso venha a assombrar vocês, assim como tem me assombrado. Oh, well, Mas a minha profissão, o meu trabalho, foi revelar a verdade durante todos esses anos. E se quisermos nos libertar, preciso que todos saibam disso que tenham mostrado. Por isso, peço que todos sintonizem bem seus aparelhos. Não cruzem suas pernas, isso é importante. Mas fiquem confortáveis com a coluna reta. E observem com atenção. Não quero. O que aconteceu à mulher? Well, uh, I have no idea what to say. <clears throat> what? I'm sure that there are other things we can uncover, right? If we like go back and start again or something. Okay, this is the right building. Hey, you got that camera on? It's like opening your arm. Camera, the mic, they become part of us. What? Huh? I don't know why I said that. I need to catch up on my sleep. I dropped the smokes, but moved on to the coffee. Let's focus on doing this well and quickly, alright? You want the sixth floor? Can you get the button?
What is it? It looked like you have something to say. Authorization, what are you talking about? They never approve sensationalist stories like this. You need to hand them to complete material. You need to hand them the complete material. Get it? If it's already done, it's harder for them to refuse it. It was bizarre. You didn't see it, did you? They just told me how it happened, what he used to, you know, be lucky. Wish I hadn't seen it. You heard it, right? He gave Kelso a VHS tape. BT operator. Right, Kelso was supposed to broadcast the tape, but he couldn't publish it. Then BAM! It happened. We're here. Come on. Okay, we're going to point six away. He's remember. Uh, let's just go ahead straight. Yeah. I think it's that apartment just ahead. Here we are. Well, let's get ready. Uh, you can film again the door and all that. Shall I knock? Ring the bell. Let's ring the bell because she didn't answer the dog. <laughs> I wonder if she's up to talking. Help me, I wonder if she's up to talking. If she isn't, she will be now. Let me try again. She's been home. They didn't for long. long. Been for long. long. Some four years. I'm. It's hit me hard, you too, you know. I want to do something for him and take advantage of the situation in the process. Sure, he'd say I'm demonstrating a sharp sense of opportunity. Alright, third time is a charm. What do you want? Hi, Mrs. Martins. From Channel 8. I'm going to give you our condolences. You will need a computer camera, uh, making a special program, homage we want to talk about. Talk to you about him, about what happened. Right, fine, come in. Might be good to talk about it. Uh, how bitch. Why not? We can edit it later. Right now, we need the raw material. Come on, before she changes her mind. Maybe we stop her watching it this time. Thank you again for welcoming us, Mrs. Martins. Mm. Over here, we'll film our conversation, okay? Will you now? I have to think. We're gonna hear yeah, yeah. I would never feel a cup of coffee. I'll go make some. Pull the fast one on you, huh? Forget that. Let's snoop around where you have the chance. Make sure to get anything that catches your eye on camera. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah, got the certificates. Rain today, hardly. The rooster says otherwise. Look. Ah, these roosters never get it right. Guess we can use this to set the mood. Whoa, fancy VCR player. Okay, we know all this. And it's begging for water. This has been neglected in the last few days. Okay, yeah, she's back soon. Ah! What are the tits? Okay. You knew Walter better than I. He read a lot. He read most of the newspapers every day. I guess these books belong to Mrs. Martins. Paintings. A lot of books. Anything interesting? 
there's a book that doesn't quite fit here. Let me see. It's an electronics manual. It's bookmarked on a page about the cathode ray tube, the CRT. The pages are loose. Coffee's almost done. Do you have one? No. I say no this time. If you to have one, if you change your mind. So, <laughs> caffeine yellows your teeth. Uh, so, did you think it over? Yeah. Ready? No, but it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. Here, Mrs. Adriana Martins, wife of Walter Martins, our dear colleague who left us so abruptly. She agrees to give us an interview during these most trying of times. The house itself really tells a story about how you two lived. <sighs> Sickly plan. There are many books. Walter read many newspapers too, didn't he? It was a habit of his. He had to be well prepared for his show. He liked to be up to speed with the current events, and he complained about the younger journalists, said they weren't thorough. Yeah, I know that quite well. Yeah, what quite well educated. Okay, we know all this. Nothing different, I don't think. Uh, uh. Electronics menu. Walter was an avid reader. I'd been reading the last few days. He'd walk all around the house with some manual or something in his hands. An electronics manual, I think. He kept messing around with the VCR. I noticed because he even stopped reading the papers. Hmm. I just have a brand new VCR. I'm curious. I know Walter's quite the cinephile, but he'd enjoy the most. Yeah, she really doesn't want to talk about the VCR. Uh, he was so different, so nervous, and I expected him to... No one expected that, Miss Martins. I can't... I still can't even imagine Walter handling a gun. What gun? Walter never handled a gun. A gun, the one he used during the show's broadcast. He didn't ever use a gun. I know it was horrible, but I saw it when he pulled the trigger. That's when Ferrero told you back at the station, right? How can that be? My god, I knew it. Ever since you got that damn tape. The tape you tried to broadcast. I also examined the tape back at the studio. I think the film was burnt, something like that. Wasn't the tape, the original okay, she's gonna give us the tape. Okay. So if we like the story here, it looks like you've seen a ghost uh no, we're gonna what? No, no, we're gonna stay. Although, oh no, maybe I shouldn't have stayed because I stayed the first time. Okay, this is how we'll do it. You film me as I watch it. Yeah, okay. But this time, when it gives us the option to turn the TV off, we should turn it off. Uh, okay. Again, first impression, blah blah. blah. Let's play. Symbols. I can almost do you anything. Know, I feel like I can. At the same time, I can't. It feels like they get entangled inside your brain. Changed. Good. Uh, so he did go inside the building. What is this place? Shop windows. No more would sell. We're just walking by everything. What building is this? Way too long. Look. Someone up ahead. That guy, he looks. Oh, 
got some low carol. the same place regardless of what you do there. Okay, we're in the right building. Is the camera on? With the lens cover. Get the button, sixth floor apartment. Oh, I've seen a ghost. Look different today. I think I'll make up. Head directly to the 608. Yeah. Don't want to piss her off. Right, Frank. There's the apartment. Good evening. From Channel 8, I've gone to talk to you about what happened. You don't mind if we record this, right? Hey, you want to talk about Walter, right? Recent events, everything's stuck in your throat, isn't it? Come in, it might be good to speak to someone. I don't know what I'm supposed to do differently. Nothing off here. Yeah, there is. Find out. I won't get in. this raincoat wet? Mrs. Mark must have worn it yesterday. There was a storm, right? Look, there's a ripped notebook page on the pocket. Notes. It's seen those same numbers, so I returned here. A metal box appeared. There's a numerical pad, I can't open it. Like metal trees, I saw. Radio towers, the numbers once again. Weird notes. Which I've had a lot in his mind these last few days. Down. I'm going to this side. You heard me. There you go. You didn't lose any fingers, did you? A stained object. What should I do with this now? I don't care as long as it's away from me. What kind of plant is this? No idea, man. Well taken care of. Shouldn't let the tragedy affect your routine. It's what's keeping her functional right now. Interesting. VHS collection here. They're all labelled and well organised. So that was two, that was five. to remember something because I'm not going to. Hey, 
Hey, cut it out. Too much noise will attract Mrs. Martin's attention. Alright, oh, my bad. There. Well, so, so there must be a third number then. Let's get to the point. I'll stuck a tape. Oh yeah, we know this. There, they took the tape. No, we're not shooting anything. We don't have a lot of time and I made her uncomfortable. Let me check the tape. Maybe there's something we can add to the video in editing. Go talk to her. I don't want to! It's what you're doing. What's that smell? It's not the cigarette. Yeah, you said it's about to smell later. What's that? Uh, new opportunities. Miss Martins. What is it? Are you done? Not yet. Uh, she's watching the tape. Asking the questions. What program? Let the girl be asking questions. Uh, that's me. Busy with the tape. It's always a tape. Uh, uh, what's in the tape? I don't know, I never watched it. Walter made me promise I'd never watch it. Kind of curious before, not anymore. Why did you keep the tape? I have no idea why I kept the thing. I should have burned it, crushed it with a hammer, but I couldn't. I couldn't. I think I see him when I look at the tape, you know? I was thinking about that girl alone in my living room watching it. At least my skin crawl. Why is she so interested in that tape? I wouldn't know. No? Isn't that why you came here? I mean, isn't that what the story's about? I... don't remember. Do you think that colleague of yours is acting a little strange? I... I could swear I've seen this, seen her before. To be honest, I have a feeling I've seen you before as well. Why are you in this anyway? It's my job. Can we conclude the interview first? No, no we can't. You came here, I didn't call anybody. I have the right to ask questions. You know, I get it. Well you don't get it! I don't fucking get it. But misery. That's precisely that's precisely why we need to investigate. The object weighs heavily in my pocket. No no, don't say anything. Look on your face says it all. There are certain pursuits that that aren't worth it. They are far too costly. Some things weighing on my head. Heart. Stomach. Uh, uh, our job is to inform people so others don't need to pay the same high cost. I'd like to believe that. I feel like not even you believe that. To be honest, I don't really believe that. Well, I wanted to believe it too. I don't want this story to be broadcast. I'm telling you quite plainly, drop the camera. Serious. The camera is too heavy. You told the crazy old lady clawed at you, I don't care. Yeah, a little push out the window. This is fucking weird, I don't know what's going on, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Uh, I need to reach the apartment, the apartment... Apartment... Six oh eight. Yes, that was it. Definitely that one. I don't know. 
From which feeder do I exist now? From which past did I come? The apartment. You stayed there. Bought everything, everything can be used. Sound. I really want to follow it. Yes! Fucking weird. Where's she going? Uh, okay, can't do anything else with the door. Weird smell. This time I'm going to follow the dog. to do things differently. Uh, I'm only doing this to get as much footage as possible. I was told that was important once. Compared I'm going in. Come on then. This is fucking weird. Echoes avoid the tape number. F hmm. Echoes of a note. going in there. Caros telespectadores, boa noite. So, Hoje nós teremos uma transmissão I don't know how many times you replay it, um, but I don't know if there's going to be anything different other than the same end result. But if you know of any anything I'm missing, then, then please uh, feel free to tell me in the comments because I this is really messed with my head. I, I enjoyed it. I just don't know what the fuck is going on. No idea. But very very good. But I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do differently, to be frank. It's an interesting concept, which I really do genuinely like. I'd play a lot more games like this, for sure. Hold on a minute. T.
Come on, we're going to the sixth floor. Walter lived on the sixth floor. There's got to be something with that tape. It said T. Now then... Oh, yes. Ow, how did I get here? I feel presence here. Gotta keep moving. My thoughts are slippery. Before this, we are going to the apartment. How many times did we go to the apartment? I need to concentrate on something. Those things. Those things that weren't there before. The notes. Yes, it was in the coat pocket. I remember the note on the hallway floor. Even the paper smelled like cigarettes. That presence again. Better move. I don't know what these trees... What trees these are. I've never seen trees like this before. I don't know. Focus. What else was here? Uh, the newspaper. Uh, particular article. Reported Walter's death. Yes, that he killed himself with. With what? Can't recall that. It's closer now. I'm tired. It's asleep. No, no, I can't. There's something else on my mind. Yes. A tape. A videotape. Yes, the tape was already in the VCR. I had a faded label. Seems like an important memory. That presence. Boat. Presence. Sail the lake. That wrong? That choose wrong? Okay, I'm gonna do that again and pick the forest. I'll skip through a lot of the chatter. You don't have to see it all for a thousand times. Thoughts. No. Okay, the note was initially in his pocket, wasn't it? I said something about trees. I did it. Didn't give me an option that time. Good 
knives. Walter? You know me. I think I've been wondering this place for a while now. Apparently, stopping and waiting was the best choice. I... Wait, my hands are tingling. Think carefully about what you're going to say. We watch, the, we watch the tape. Or camera. Oh, wait a minute! So we found Walter. So has he been wandering there? Is he not dead? Wait, I need, I've got questions. Okay, so I played it through a few more times. And I didn't really find anything different. I tried all combinations of things. Um, and once I put the numbers in that you find and you're in the forest and you see him, I didn't really find anything after that. So that is definitely all there is. So, but like I said, if there is anything I've missed, then feel free to tell me because I'll be interested if there is anything else. And that's it. So thank you for watching uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.